Holy crap, guys. Talk about another score. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, this is awesome. Come on, guys. Seriously? No way. Saved from the bin of death. Dude. Leave these for other people. All right, there was nothing else. Um, I am leaving. Two treasure hunts for other people. Of course, there's a left a bunch of Porsche, uh, the Volkswagen Beetle, a lot of the JDM Mustangs, leaving all that. But uh, <laughs> there we go, dude. Super and regular. God, that's a good day right there. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you all are having a great start to the week. Holy crap guys. We scored a fresh six cases worth of K case for 2024. And of course you guys saw in there we scored the super. Man this thing is freaking sweet. It's somewhere in here. Uh, there it is right there. So check this beauty out. Man, look at that Spectra Flame finish. I love this casting, man. Gosh, this is number three for the year, so I think the drought is officially over, hopefully. If not, I mean, I almost went three years without finding one, and I was perfectly fine, still having fun. But man, was it nice to save this from the bin of death. Look at that. Mazda 787B. Of course, you got the white aero discs up front and the really nice deep dish five spokes with the chrome lip. I mean, this thing is beautiful. So we did score this one as well as the main line. That way we can see the huge difference between these two. You got the main line up top, which still has the gold five spokes in the rear and white aero discs up front. But look at the difference. But either way, I was going to score the main line because I do like these type of racers and I mean the profile of these cars are really cool so there we go guys K case super and mainline for the collection man super stoked but not only that guys we also finally scored the new recolor of the 84 SVO we have it in red but check this out guys Mattel is finally listening you have headlight tampos the blue oval and then coming around the back, look at the tail lights, man. They even have the Mustang SVO badge, the blue oval. I mean, this looks sweet. Super cool. Black hood, black roof, chrome PR5s. I think the side with no tampos looks super clean. So this is the Then and Now series. But wait, we also scored the 92, which is right here. Not in the same series. This one's out of the Hot Wheels 90s. 
but we do have another recolor of the 92 Fox body. This one actually has Tampo stripes on the side with the rubber trim going down along the body. But we got headlights. Look at that. No tail lights, but we got some headlights and they really do look good. You got some ambers and then of course the headlight assembly itself, but Chrome MC5s with a staggered fitment. And this is just awesome. Two of the Mustangs I've been waiting for patiently for K Case, and we scored those. All right, next up is the new. Next up, we have the recolor of the Pontiac Aztec Custom. This one's in a reddish orange metallic with the gold Y fives. You got k &N, 68, Yokohama, Sparco, really cool deco on the door with the little pattern. Then you got the 68 running on the hood and headlights. Man, they are doing better. They are definitely doing better, but this casting looks really good in this color. The first one was a baby blue, which is a super cool one as well. So this is out of the Hot Wheels Modified Series, number nine of the 10 cars. And there you go, collector number 111 of the 250. Next up is a recolor and addition to my collection of 24 sevens. Here we go, this is out of the Hot Wheels Celebration Racers. Um, this one looks like it is a partnership of some sort. Uh, doesn't say what it is, but uh, inclusiveness and other festivities all year long. So, real. oh, there you go, it says it right there. Friendship Day, International Friendship Day. So that is uh, July 30th, 2024. So stay tuned for that. That is coming up in like tomorrow, literally tomorrow. So happy friendship guys to everybody out there. But man, the 24-7 is based off of a modified RX-7. I do have a collection of these. Um, and yeah, washed out rear end, no tampos. You got the friendship deco on the hood, on the side, and the lenses are attached to the glass, which is a blue tint. And you do have the black MC5s all the way around. So very cool 24-7. We also picked up the new recolor of the Bugatti Bolide. This is out of the Hot Wheels Exotic Series in black. And of course, the yellow. Look at that trim. You got aero discs all the way around with the yellow ring. Tail lights look really good on this one. You have that really nice X factor of how the tail lights cross. Um, and then coming around the front, you do have the headlights. So really well done. I think this one looks a lot better than the black and blue. But you guys let me know down below which one is your favorite. So this is collector 185 out of the 250, but number three of the 10 cars in the exotic series. All right, next up is one of my favorites. And of course we do have the super of it, which I found a long time ago. We have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in white does have the red interior and trim pieces. You do have some black PR5s all the way around, but look at this car, man. Definitely one of my favorite for the Lamborghini. I do like the Veneno. That's probably my favorite overall. Um, but when it comes to the Lamborghinis, I'm always gonna pick these up. So beautiful white recolor for this car. I don't even remember the last time this one came out, but I'll put it on the screen. It's been a minute, so there we go. All right, next up is a recolor of the Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6, also known as the 964 out of the Tune series. And this is like a deep purple, almost a brownish metallic. Really cool. The first one was in black. Now we have it in this really cool color. You got the taillight details, the 964 Turbo license plate, and then of course, full tampos front and rear. This one was done well. Well done for this one. Next up is another recolor for the collection, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. Here we go, and this really cool primer gray. You got the really small five spokes with the color match itself, um, and then the white meatball, which is blank. So check it out, headlights, no tail lights, but either way, really cool recolor. I think this one looks better than the blue. Um, I don't know which other colors it came out. I might have, was there a black? I think there was a black. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen for you guys so you can track down the variations. But here we go. Really cool recolor for this one. Next up, we also found the Treasure Hunt Bone Shaker. Look at this. 
Really cool. Love the bold white walls with the five spokes in black. You got the 84 with some really cool tear patterns on the side. You can see the Hot Wheels Treasure Hunt Flame in red. And of course, this is out of the Hot Wheels Track Champs. So there you go. This is K Case's Treasure Hunt. And I did get this one because one, I collect all the treasure hunts because I think they're super cool, but this will be opened. And two, I don't collect bone shakers anymore, but this one is still one of my favorites. Still one of my favorites. All right, and then next up is a recolor. We've seen it in this color many times. I don't even know what the difference is, um, but we have the yellow 1990 Acura NSX. Really nice taillights, black wing as always, chrome PR5s. I think we've seen this one in this color setup, I don't know, maybe two or three different times. They've definitely adjusted the color shade a few of those times, but this is another Hot Wheels of the 90s, collector number two of the 10 and card number 175. So there you go. I think the other ones had blacked out glass. This one has a light smoke. I don't know. Maybe we should look, let's see. Should be in this jammer. Uh, nope, not that side. Not that side either, all right. Maybe it's not in this one. Maybe it's in this one. Nope, that's Celine, Bugatti, GT3s. Man, I really gotta label these. And I know I keep saying that, but I really do. Hold on. Oh, here we go. It's in this one. Um, let's see, red, white, blue. That's kind of cool. All right, here we go, some yellow. Oh, I don't have a yellow one, actually. Um, we have these two. We have these. Wow, do I not have a yellow one? I I swear there was more than a more than one yellow come out. Uh let's see. Nope, it wouldn't be in there. Wouldn't be in here either. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I don't. Alright, so until I can find another one for you guys. That's the only yellow one, which is weird. Anyways, back to it guys. We have another recolor of the 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko. And this deep purple metallic is super clean. That is just beautiful. You got the black OH5s, no taillight details, but you have the nice detailed titanium exhaust with the Koenigsegg badge. And coming around the front, nice headlights. So very, very clean. I think this one's been recolored about four or five different times. Um, but this is also out of the exotics, number two of the 10 cars, collector card 185. God, that purple is just super clean. Man, that's nice. All right, next up is this one. I've been dying to find this one. One, because I love Transformers. And two, it is the retooling of this Volkswagen Beetle. Check it out. You got Bumblebee's face on the bottom. I think that is the coolest freaking detail they put. Now, since this is a retool for this one, I wonder how many recolors there's going to be of hopefully they do a Decepticon. I think that would be pretty wicked. Maybe they do a battle worn version. I think that would also be pretty sweet, but Hot Wheels screen time. This is number nine of the 10 cars collector card 186. But yeah, this thing is really cool. And if you look on the bottom, you do have multiple dates. I think there's only two dates that show on here because that shows the retooling. Um, so yeah, the only thing different is the base. Maybe it's only for this casting. I don't know, but really cool. I know a lot of people are really looking for this one. Um, so hopefully you can find it if you are on the hunt for it. Next up is another recolor of the beautiful Porsche Carrera. Look at this, man. This is a Magnus Walker's Urban Outlaw, and he does not fail when he releases a car. Look at that. Gold lace wheels, tail lights done, really gorgeous blue. And this is also another car out of the 90s series. This is number one of the 10, Collector 174. Yeah, that thing is nice. Super nice. This one right here, guys. The Shelby Cobra 427 SC out of the Rolling Metal series. Look at that, man. God, that is so freaking sweet. I love that the artwork has like a brushed, brushed aluminum look to it. Maybe a stainless steel. But man, 
this thing is awesome you got the retro five slots on this one or i think they're classic five slots but 427 on the hood and a dark blue interior it's almost like a deep purple but dude that thing is awesome this is one of five cars there's only five cars out of the series um this one's put the met put the pedal to the metal with the all stainless steel finished vehicles so there we go. A lot of people were debating if this is a Zamac. Technically, every casting is made of Zamac. Um, it's just the Walmart exclusive releases their own brand, which is the Zamac, which we all know. We all love the Zamac series, but that is Walmart only and specific castings. Whereas this series, they can choose whatever car and it's not going to be exclusive to Walmart because they won't brand it as a Zamac. So it leaves it open for everything else and everyone to enjoy. Um, so just like the Cybertruck and I, I believe the DeLorean, a couple other vehicles, the Custom Firebird, they were all a raw finish, which is basically a Zamac without the Zamac exclusiveness tied to it. So there we go. Best one out of that series right there. And then of course the last one I did grab for my daughter, it is from the Minions. Of course it is the Groomobile. This thing's been released probably a few times, maybe three or four times. I don't know what the differences are, but if I can find them, I'll post them for you guys. But another screen time car and yeah, super cool. So if you guys have not seen the latest Despicable Me, definitely go watch it. It is so freaking funny. It is so funny. Um, this is number 10 of 10, collector card 180 of the 250. So there we go. Last one from today's haul. And I got to say, guys, I was just so stoked to have one save this from the bin of death. We all hate that thing. It is a card destroyer. But look at that. This thing is near cherry, not even a soft corner, maybe a slight. But I mean, that is for being in the bin really good so i gotta find a protector for this um and then of course we got the regular treasure hunt bone shaker the fox bodies which i've been dying to get and all the recolors that i had to bring home for the collection because you guys know if you've been watching as long as you have i have a huge collection of shelby porsche exotics um 24 7s uh porsche i think i said that just a while ago um mustangs obviously but i mean you know if you're new Hopefully you like it. Give it a thumbs up. But other than that, guys, that is all we have. Just super stoked to have scored some K-Case and, of course, the KK Super of the Mazda 787B for the collection. So that is all we have. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And, of course, comment down below your favorite car out of K-Case and as I always say, guys, if you haven't already and you're new, but you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you stay tuned for all of our future episodes. And yeah, stay tuned because we are going to start prepping for our annual Diecast Car Show, and it's going to be amazing. I already know I get tagged in people's customs, and I cannot wait to do another one for this year. It'll be our third annual Diecast Car Show yeah, definitely send me an email, which is always in the description box of some really clean pictures of your customs with some info of, you know, what color you use, what car is it, what series, whatever info you want to add to it, just email me so I can start compiling these so we can do another car show. So that is all we have. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace. Oh.